All right, we have a little Hustler. It's a 48 inch cut. I think it says Hustler Sport on the front end of it. And we picked it up. I was hoping to be able to uh, flip it and make a dollar on it, which that's still what we're gonna try, but he uh, told us that it didn't have spark. And last night in the dark, I didn't take time to verify anything, but it's got a blown head gasket. And the starter's turning over really, really, really weak. And the uh, starter solenoid is, is not working. So we had to short across it to make it crank. But uh, instead of taking time to tear this down and do head gaskets and everything else, I'm just gonna pull this one, set it to the side. I've got a little IC 23 horse Briggs over there that I'll just set back on it and get it up and going and just go kind of go through it and mow a couple more times and see see what I think of the little fella. If it acts like it's gonna be okay, then we'll, uh, we'll take a pressure washer to it, clean it all up, go through and resharpen the blades and anything it needs like that. Uh, I'll see if I have another seat. If not, the duct tape may have to just go with it, but we'll clean it up and make sure everything's in top shape and then we'll uh, we'll try and sell it. Zane's gonna start pressure washing. We're gonna take the golf cart, hook onto this little guy and pull him over here to some flatter ground and get the jack and get up under him. And uh, we'll get in there and get the motor unbolted, get the lines unhooked, and we will try and decide what we're gonna do after that. the lift under here got the mower on it we'll see this poor old thing is uh, not as strong as what it used to be okay have to assist it here This will just allow us to get the clutch off of it. And get the motor unbolted and off. Okay. Have fun, buddy. I'm gonna get in here and get the uh, Get the clutch undone. That clutch isn't even hooked up. Yeah, I think 
think they lied to me. They told me that they didn't know where the muffler fell off while they were mowing. I think they switched engines on it, if I had to guess. And because there's stuff here that uh, on the mower that this motor was never hooked to. And they probably just couldn't figure out how to make the muffler fit back on. Yeah, you don't uh, you don't have to sneak your wife's uh, exercise mat out, but uh, and use it. But on one of the many days that she's not using it, just take that bad boy out, roll it out. It sure saves the knees and the back a lot. Chances are she won't even miss it. I've had this one out here for a year, and uh, she hadn't really said anything about it yet. It sure does give you something good to set on. See, that looks like a 5 8. Yep. If you don't have a half inch drive battery powered impact and you don't know what you're missing. is shot. I'm going to run over here to the back of the Suburban and get my Persuader. And uh, see if we can't give this thing a little bit of a, an attitude on life on uh, getting out of here. Try the little one, see if the attitude's just a little bad. If that don't adjust it, then we will get the big attitude adjuster in here. Yeah, that is not the right clutch for this mower. At all. Corrosion may make it a little fun getting that pulley there off, but if it don't come off, we won't. We won't worry too bad. That's gonna come down. All right, we're gonna get up here. There's four bolts that hold the uh, hold the uh, motor down. I don't know if you can see them. There's one there, there, and then corresponding on the other side. They look like a 9 16 if I had to guess. Said I can't say enough about these, these impact guns. They are phenomenal. Phenomenal again. Yeah, that one's gonna be harder. We'll have to get the little gun in there and see if it'll do it.
undo that fuel line there. Got some squeeze tabs and it pulls apart. Got a ground on the starter and a power wire. 